Hey guys, and welcome to Civilization Revolution Part 2 with me, Hank2811. That sounded su su a bit suspiciously like someone else's intro. I don't remember who. Anyway, um, so here we go. We're still with the Japanese. <clears throat> my throat's still kind of croaky, and my voice is still breaking. And I'm dying a little inside every time my voice breaks. Anyway. We, um, if you remember, ooh, here we go, spot a luck. Caravan. Fuck off. Got the actual gold, but whatever. Um. Wow. Nice. Show us 25 gold pieces. Do we have 100 gold now? Move, wifey. Thank you. Yes, yes, we do. Okay, good. If you saw the last part, you saw me fail, as I, like, thought I was really smart by. Uh, selling a unit, getting 100 gold for my settlers, and then buying a uh, quick producing, um, what you call them? a bunch of archers, which didn't really work, but oh well. I need to try and get this back on. Cool, so we're back anyway, is what the last, you know, minute or so was meant to, <laughs> meant to show you. Um, you're gonna go back as well. So yeah, we need to go find a new city, so because we're not the, that'd be kind of good, that'd be kind of good, actually that's not good enough, we don't, oh no, but we have C, yeah, that is the beautiful thing about the Japanese is that they're a lot better for islands, because generally the problem with islands is you either have not enough production or not enough um, food, because obviously it's so such a small area that you're not going to have both. Your likelihood of getting both is, or getting a, enough of both is pretty, pretty small chance. But because you get plus one, like I said in the last part, you get plus one food per uh, C square. It means that you know you automatically get plus whatever amount of, of C squares you have next to. Us. So he's going to block me off there because he's a top bloke. I'm going to... Should I rush my... I probably shouldn't rush my play, but should I? About, I'm trying to remember what Troy said to me. You know, my MLG Pro friend there. I'm going to try and think. No, I don't want to make it this close. This is kind of all what you shouldn't do, by the way. You know, you shouldn't really put spies out by themselves. You shouldn't really... Um, uh, you shouldn't be putting... Especially putting those guys out by themselves. I'm actually going to attack you because you pissed me off by stealing my fucking spy. I'm going to kick your ass. Boss. Yay. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I'm reluctant to take infiltration because I'm not really going to be attacking cities with these guys. So it's, it does seem very, very point... Oh, it's like they're, they're thinking it's fine. Uh, you're gonna go out here. Probably get taken by some random but Anyway. So. Here we go. They're gonna go there. I don't care. You can defend. You're gonna lose this awful place. Uh, I really don't wanna get too close to those desert squares, so. Wait, how? It expands it by one, which means it will just catch it, yeah. Let's go back around this way and uh, and try and get some trees and stuff. There we go. Okay, go there. Gold! Glorious gold. Good stuff. So, we are going to continue to look for wonders with this little galley. We're going to try and build a second city, which um, my kind of just who's wondering, right? Uh, I'm kicking ass on technology. But anyway, wait, how come? Anyway, yes. Yeah, so I'm okay. Let's make peace. Whatever. You got a wall already? Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Nice little calm music. You can hear it. I'm not sure how loud I'm gonna make the uh, the actual game audio, but. If you can hear it, you'll be relaxed, I'm sure. So yes, anyway, my, my kind of new strategy after uh, doing the first LP 
is to get once get my capital and really kind of produce it into a great kind of place, a top folks kind of place. Which I keep saying for some reason. I'm sorry. Um, uh, you're not going to do that. Yeah, make my make my capital. Sorry, a very kind of productive place in the sense of either gold or science, depending on which one I'm going for, and that uh, culture. And then building a second city near, more near mountains, and getting a lot of production on the go, and uh, that'll be one of the main capitals. So actually, I've gone quite lucky. Okay, fuck off, sunshine. I don't care. Um, I've actually got quite lucky by getting David as my first great person because by putting him into my um, my new city, it means that I can instantly upgrade units, give them one of those fancy ass upgrades. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed, I'm sure you will agree. Oh yeah, the Mongolians want a piece, don't they? Take him! Take him out! Yeah. Huzzah. You know all that good stuff. Oh! There we go. <laughs> that works. Uh, yep. So. I'm actually kind of worried because I don't really have my units to back them up. Yeah, you really shouldn't be doing that. That's kind of like the perfect example of not what not to do is move out all these units that can easily be taken by one unit. You know, such as settlers and great person, great people, great persons, great people. That's what they're called. They're not called wonder folk or whatever crap I said in the last episode. Wow. Yeah, I totally blanked. Anyway, you really shouldn't be doing this because I could suddenly lose a great person and a bunch of settlers and a spy. But anyway, you know, I'm hardcore like that. I can't attack you with these units. Um, it's actually really weird because to record this, I've got to put it down to component cables again. So go retro style. Uh, because I haven't got my HDP VAR yet and all that good stuff. So... Oh, you've got labor. Little template. So I have my icy concentrate here. Which is surprising, I don't use the concentrate. That might work. Okay. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so it's actually weird because I got a new TV and stuff, so I'm used to what, using the HDMI cable. That was stupid. God dang it. Um, yeah. So, I'm used to, basically, it's lower quality than I'm used to. It's kind of weird. Is what I was trying to get to there, but I, I quite wonderfully managed to almost screw up my turn. And all that good stuff. Just because I was trying to speak. Uh, this is an awful place, isn't it? However, that is better. Good. You're going to go and defend them. You're gonna go over there. I think I actually think great leaders should be able to defend themselves a little bit. Just to, you know, there's, there's my great plan. You're gonna wait till next turn. You know, there, there's my great plan for Civilization Revolution Two or whatever. Oh yeah, I need to make them attack me, don't I? This could be a really bad idea. Discovering a city. How much good at it? I gold. And I can't build a road. Why not? Go that way. Okay, anyway, um Yeah, this could go really badly. But, you know. LP's kinda been going a bit badly so far, so hey ho. Let's see what happens. So you're gonna go and not steal something, you get your ass kicked by No you're not! Wow. Be your ass. And we're gonna do some gold. Right, I'm gonna guess, just because I'm a gambling type person, this is gonna be 12 gold. 13! Damn it! So close. So close. Yeah, so I really shouldn't have done that. I should probably just sneak back out and, uh, and left them alone, but I'm just gonna get some defensive units in here. 
And you're gonna shoot yourself in first, day. Eh? Oh well. Shit happens and all that jazz. Um so Yeah, I forgot that early turns you're gonna get nothing. I think you get like between Extra Now, level. this is me bullshitting, by the way, but it, it might be right. I think you get something like between 5% and 8% of their gold. If you steal gold. I believe. I can't remember who told me this. It could be a complete lie. I mean, I say could be, I'm going to say pretty much is. But, you know, it gives you something to work off of. It gives you very, basically, it gives you a very small percentage of the gold. And so if you... No, I'm good, thanks. If you steal gold late on against someone who's playing really well, you're going to get quite a bit of gold. For example, the first time me and Dean played Troy, I stole some gold from one of his cities, and I think I got something like 400 gold, and it like quadrupled the amount I already had. That's how much better he was doing than all of us. So, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I kind of don't need to have a strategy for technology, to be honest. I'm looking at the clock here, so that's why I'm playing around. Uh, I really don't. I kind of go for tanks. That's what I kind of do. I'm like, right, let's just go for tanks, and that'll do. I know, especially offline, uh, that's really all you have to do. Once you get tanks, you kind of set. Uh, I actually haven't played Dieti yet, so maybe Dieti have to do all that fancy shit, but... I know in King, as long as you can hold your ground for a bit, and don't burp, but don't die <clears throat> when you try and hold it in. <coughs> Ow. Sorry about that. In case you didn't realise, I tried to burp and then died a little bit. So, fun times held all round. We can build a road now. 150 gold. No thank you. Uh, you're going to build... Oh, God dang it. I don't know what to build. Go for catapults and we'll go and attack the, uh, the someones. <laughs> this someone's I don't give a shit about. It. Go that way. So the wonders, the hidden wonders, decide to be awesomely hidden from me, which is awesome, hence the name. So that's being real pain. I could really progress a lot quicker if. I knew where they were. Screw it, I'm a death position. I'm just gonna kill you. I don't care. Action LP here. Boom. Look at that. Like a boss. Just like a boss. Really? Come on, let's let's end the episode with me finding something truly, truly awesome. And not getting the news that London's fucking buried. No, no. Uh, God damn. Really? That, that's all that consisted of my turn? Awesome. Move one unit one square. Move your boat two squares. Huzzah! Oh my god. Okay, so I'm not gonna find anything here. This is awesome. Awesome. Say, uh... Wow, they built... Oh, go on, sunshine. I don't care. Oh, blood. Oh, time to push. Kill them good. Kill them good. Kill them good. There we go. Hooray. Oh, they're gonna get raped in a minute. No, they're not. Anyway. So, um, yes, not much has happened in this episode, I don't think. Ep epilode? Epilode. There you go, guys. New word. That's what happened in this episode. You just learned what epilode means. It means a person failing to say episode. So, on that awesome linguistic note, uh, I'm going to say, see you guys later. Actually, wait a minute. We're going to end this turn real quick. Real quick. Don't know what made me say it like that, but whatever. Okay, yeah, so, thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you will join me in the next part. See you guys later.